everyone, this is Amy, and I wanted to show you an idea I had for polymer clay, and I'm going to be following up with a tutorial, but this is some baked polymer clay, and I just want to show you what you can do with embossing folders. So, I use a Spellbinders 3D embossing folder to make these little shapes, and I tore them away because I'm planning on making something that looks like a shipwreck and then uh, either turn it into a journal cover or um, some of the pieces can be used for jewelry. So I just thought these were really cool and it's really easy. You basically just condition your clay and I use Sculpey Primo. And I did mix some colors. I mixed their um, classic colors is the sampler pack that I bought. So I just took some blue and green and a little bit of white for the for this color, and then their purple with some white for that violet color. And then you press it into your embossing folder, and. I put it in the fridge for about 10 minutes because the clay was still pretty soft and I didn't want it to stick on to the embossing folder. And then basically you just peel it away and it comes out, if you want it to come out in like, for instance, this one actually comes from a, a square shape and if you wanted to keep it that way you definitely could. You could cut around it and just peel it very carefully away, but because I wanted it to have this sort of broken, distressed look, I, I let it sort of just peel away however it did on its own. And then once it was out of the oven, this I used uh, Inca Gold and Violet, and I used Inca Gold and Copper for this, and actually this is what Palmer Clay Tudor recommended for Inca Gold is to brush it on before it goes in the oven um, to cure it. Otherwise the Inca Gold will come off. And it won't come off. Um, however, because the clay was still fairly soft, I didn't want to lose any of this dimension, so I went ahead and baked it for about 10 minutes so it would t like toughen up, took it out of the oven, then put on the Inca Gold and put it back in to cure completely because you might lose some of this detail if you're rubbing on it. And you could also use, once it's baked, acrylic paint. You know, any type of metallic acrylic paint would give it the same type of effect. But anyway, I just wanted to share it. And this is a Pardo piece and I just stamped in some costume jewelry. I don't know if I have the piece handy, but it was a Tree of Life pendant that I had. And I wanted this to look like coral in the ocean, so I took the tree and just kind of went all the way around and just used the branch and leaf part of it instead of the trunk to make a pendant out of it. So anyway, those are just a few little polymer clay tips and then I will go ahead and do a follow-up video to show you the creations that I make using these broken kind of shipwreck pieces. So anyway, thanks so much for watching, and uh, please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Thanks! Bye!